Hello everyone, I'm here once again. So today I'm going to start uh, with tenses. Tenses is uh, all of you know that uh, tenses are the ones which are used to describe the time of action and what time the particular action is being performed. Okay, so tenses are broadly classified into three types. Present, which is happening in front of you. Past, that has already been done. And the future, which is still going to come. Then again, each tense is being again classified into four types. First is simple. Another one is progressive. Third one is perfect. And fourth one is perfect continuous. So I'll begin with the very first one, simple present tense. Or more popularly known as present indefinite tense, dear students. I would like to... To tell you, like, first of all, I want to tell you, like, which are the cases in which uh, these type of sentences are being used. Dear student, these sentences find their application mostly in, while speaking about general truths. While speaking about general truths. For example, sun rises in the east, sun sets in the west, moon revolves around the earth. Okay. Now, dear students, second application comes uh, if you notice this, when we usually talk about our daily habits, our routine, our schedule, then we use pre simple present tense. For example, I go for a walk. She gets up. She always gets up uh, early in the morning. Uh, I, sorry, I use the uh, different uh, gesture to describe this. It's a good habit no? to get up early in the morning. And uh, like she always gets late. That's bad. She he runs fast. He goes out for morning walk. Every day. So by these type of these all are our daily routines or habits. So they actually find application. Uh, they these are uh, here is where uh, simple present tense finds its application. Coming on to the students, uh, something which always happens and we are and it is actually planned every day. The, for example, uh, school door opens at seven o'clock in the morning. It is going to happen daily, no? So. Refers to a future action or event which is already planned. For example, the door opens in 5 minutes. Okay. Another application is just students with works of perception. For example, the roses smell good. I hear some noise. Can you see? Hear. Smell. This is first form of verb. I tell you what is the complete rule of using simple present tense. Wait, huh? Then it is also used with it, these minor words. It is also used with the exclamatory sentence. It is not the only one which are used with exclamatory sentences. For example, see how well how well she dances. Oh wow. Uh, how beautifully how beautifully she sings. Now coming on to the rules, dear students. First of all, affirmative sentences. I will be talking about affirmative sentences which are positive by nature. And the students helping work uh, used during simple present tenses do and does. Do is used with plural uh, subjects and does is used with singular subject. Dear students, and I told you, uh, do is, uh, sorry, I and you are always the exceptions. They use plural words. So please remember with I and you being singular, but still you are going to use do with it. Fine? So, okay, let's start with affirmative sentences, dear students. The rule is subject plus main verbs first form is used in simple present tense. Main verbs first form plus S or yes depending upon the what type of uh, subject it is. So S to use or yes to use along with main verb yes to use. And then objects. So example, I write on blackboard. This is my habit or this is something what I do, regularly do. So I write, I is the subject, main verb is write. Uh, and as he is not needed, I told you to use this plural verb. And uh, 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 the blackboard is our object, dear students. For, uh, next one, coming on to negative sentences. Dear students, which are which are negative, like uh, something which is not acceptable, not done. Huh? So, for example, uh, sorry, the rule for negative sentences is subject plus do does. For short, do does is used in uh, negative, ten, uh, negative sentences of simple present tense. So, Subject plus do does plus not plus name of first form and object. Do does accordingly. Like if the uh, subject is plural, do is going to be used. If the subject is plural, uh, do is going to be used. And if the subject is singular, does is going to come. And please remember, I and you are the exceptions. So, I, 
subject do not write on blackboard i do not write on blackboard can you see i has used do if it would have been see or she or he then she does not write on blackboard coming on to the third variety that is interrogative sentences interrogative that means questioning words isn't it so it, again it is classified into two simple interrogative and double interrogative the student simple interrogative sentences are which can be answered in yes or no for example are you coming yes either either you will say yes or no but if i like what's your name then you have to utter some words to explain to uh, like a group of words for example my name is this that cannot be answered in yes or no so those type of sentences are known as double interrogative in which answer cannot be given in yes or no certainly a words are certainly certainly some words are needed your students so first of all we talked about interrogative the uh, rule is do does plus subject plus main verbs first form and then object for example do you write a letter do you write a letter uh, for example does she hear you okay then coming on to double interrogatives dear students it includes wh family along with the same rule which is being written here so wh family plus do does plus subject plus main verbs first form and object so example why do you write a letter why comes from the wh family do does subject main verb and the object is student like what is your name right now uh, what is your name is not the uh, yeah it is an example of simple uh, simple present tense only dear students but yeah the best test is why do you write a letter uh, uh, why does she cry and uh, uh, another example like what does he do fine so this is all with simple present tense dear students hope you have got a clear idea about these sentences and with my next video Uh, coming soon i'll be telling you about present progressive or present continuous tenses thank you and have a good day where and the example like